But I think the diary was a way in which he could be true to himself because a lot of politicians get fooled by, especially when they're in power, get fooled by the world around them, are unable to tell flattery from the truth. And Narasimha Rao's ability to be introspected, to be inward, helped him sift the day into what, you know, you know or to put it in, in, in statistical terms, to be able to sift the signal from the noise. So I think that's the first thing that introspection had taught him that, you know, one is it you taught him don't trust anyone except your diary, which is a pretty good skill in politics. Uh, second is that you should be able to sift uh, the signal from the noise, you know, who are the people you met every day, you know, how many people are being honest, how many people are lying, you know, to give you just one example, you know, one of the diary entries which I have in the book is from 22nd May 1991, right? This is the day after Rajiv Gandhi has been killed in, uh, in near, near Chennai. And Narasimha Rao, who at that, until then, had been basically eased out of the Congress and was about to become a monk in a monastery called Kotralam in Tamil Nadu and was closing his bank accounts, is suddenly realizing that by virtue of being the least ambitious man in the party, uh, he's primed to be uh, Prime Minister of India, right? And the, the diary shows, uh, you know, 22nd May, he's back in Delhi, he's in 10 Janpat, where Sonia Gandhi and Rajiv used to live. And, you know, pieces of uh, Rajiv Gandhi's body, they're just pieces, they're not the full body, are, you know, are, are kept there. And all the congressmen are around the body pretending to cry, some of them actually crying, while actually trying to maneuver to see who would succeed him. And he has this wonderful passage about how Pranam Mukherjee, who was in the boondocks then, but would later recover to become president of India, wheedles up to him and says, we think you should become Prime Minister, Congress president, which is the proxy for Prime Minister of India. And Narasimha Rao immediately says, I immediately told him that, you know, that it was, you know, that I'm not the right person, right? Knowing full well the kind of person he is. I also gave him the name of N.D. Tiwari for Prime Minister of India, knowing that he was even less likely a candidate than I am, right? And I think the introspection in the diary allows him to do that. It allows him to reflect over the day. I think the third thing introspection gave him was to take the long view. You know, often we're so caught up in the moment that we're unable to, you know, to see short-term benefit from long-term, uh, you know, long-term cost and unable to separate that, right? For example, Narasimha was frequently sidelined from the party, frequently. I think Narasimha ability to take the long view um, and not make uh, silly short-term beneficial decisions also contributed to the kind of career he had.